Hello everyone, this is Chris, and welcome back to another seed showcase. And when looking at this seed, it looks like a relatively generic seed with just some generic biomes right around the place, but let me tell you that this seed is anything but generic, because inside this seed, there is five, yes, five Mushroom Island seeds, not cr a crazy distance away from spawn, so insane, so crazy, and I figured I just had to show off this one seed. So by typing in these batch of numbers right here, you'll spawn in right around here, right where this diamond pillar is, and you're right on the edge of a plains biome and a mountain biome. If you're watching this in the very distant future, these should be these brand new types of mountains, so in case you are watching from that far in the future, then look forward to have some incredible mountain generation, but for now you have some Pretty decent mountain generation, plenty of spruce trees to go around, and plenty of snow as well. And speaking of wood varieties, you actually have a decent amount of choice with uh, this spawn, because not only do you have that spruce up in the mountains, not only do you have the normal oak and birch stuff, you also get a little bit of dark oak over here too, and you can't ignore the fact that also, inside this dark oak forest, there's also a dead village and you know dead villages aren't the greatest but I always say that having any type of village near spawn is always great to get yourself started up with some starter food with some starter gear and with you know all that sorts of stuff so all this stuff is great and all but they're not mushroom islands so let's head our way over to these uh, to these islands right now there are a few that's a little bit further than the other ones but for the most part all of them are not much more than a couple thousand blocks from spawn and for ocean monuments that's not actually that bad and yeah here's the very first one and also it's the largest one i believe in out of these entire five and yeah if we have a look at it right away we can see that yeah it stretches on and on and on and it is really really big so if you want to build yourself like a massive base with like lots of other structures and stuff on it then this is definitely the island for you. And something which is on the coast of this one mushroom island is an iceberg biome. So yes, yeah, so you also get um your packed ice, your frosted ice, and even some more islands as it seems. I didn't even know this thing was right here. So in case you want to have some normal land, which this probably isn't an island. This is probably just mainland. But yeah, in case you want like mainland really close to this massive mushroom island, then... This is definitely the one for you. This is definitely the one I'd, I'd recommend you go to. But like I said, there are there are five of these. And this is the very first one. So let's head our way over to the other ones. And here's the second one right now. Now, you remember the first one? It was mainly due to scale with a combination of sort of flatlands and hills. This one consists of pretty much mainly hills on one side. And then just a small bit of flatness. So... In case you want like mushroom island mountain type things, which you know they don't go incredibly high, but they go high for a uh, for an island. So yeah, in case you want something like that, then this is definitely the island for you. And it also has a little bit of a green grass. And I gotta say, the the mixture of mycelium and green grass actually actually looks kind of good. A good mixture is better than all of one or the other. But if you don't want to have to clear out this entire mountainous area, even though it's not incredibly mountainous, then don't worry because there's another tiny little mushroom island sitting just right here with hardly any hills at all. I'm counting this as still just one mushroom island, but you can count them as two if you want, but I'm just going to cut it off as one. But is there anything else that's special on this island? Well, yes, there is, because if you head your way just over here just where i marked it out with these diamond blocks and we head our way just right here we get ourselves some buried treasures so yeah in case you want just buried treasure easily accessible only digging down a few blocks and definitely head your way over to this island if we head to these coordinates now we will eventually find the third island now this one um it's actually a pretty decent size it's not as big as the very first one we shot off but it's a decent size there's nothing too much to say about it other than it's another mushroom island. It has some hills, some flat areas. It's kind of like the first one, but it a little bit smaller. But it's still still nice having it nonetheless. Now, islands four and five are the islands that are a little bit of a distance away because you can see the corners right there. We are about four three thousand blocks away in both the uh, the X and the Z coordinates. But 
in case you want like another Mooshroom Island, in case um, those three which were relatively close weren't enough, then you have yet another one. And this one has a very unique type of shape because it has this so sort of um big end on one side and then another sort of big end on the other and then this huge middle section right here. It's a very unique type of a type of island, even if it was just a normal type of island. It's a very strange and different shaped island. And this one also has the benefit of spawning right next to a pretty decent sized coral reef. So you get all your corals, you get your 3000 plus types of fish and you know all the benefits of having this type of coral reef. And also another thing that's right next to this one Mushroom Island is a uh, these little small islands and What's interesting about this one is that there's a tiny about a amount of mycelium that spreads on it, so I guess you could kind of call this part of the mushroom island. If you if you only count like the less than one percent, then sure you could count these these other islands as part of the uh, as part of the mushroom island. But yeah, in case you want just normal types of islands too with some normal grass and stuff, then you do you definitely do have it right around here with some pretty decent sized islands which go on a long 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 time like you see how far I'm flying like there is plenty of islands that links onto this one island now heading out to our fifth and final mushroom biome which is definitely the furthest away but in return I think it might be worth it because first off I believe this is the second largest out of all the um, mushroom biomes like you can see this is a pretty pretty decent sized one but one thing I found on this island really, really intrigues me and is really interesting because, like, you know that there's only one mob that could spawn in normally, the, um, mushroom cows. I forgot the name of them. I'm so sorry, mushroom cows. But, you know, they, they are the only mobs that could spawn. But there is one exception. And that exception is at these corners right here. And if you dig your way down just a little bit, you'll find yourself... A mob spawner. So yes, mob spawners are the exception. So you will definitely be able to find some zombies and some other types of mobs in in this one island. Let's just ignore the facts that my brain literally gave up on me in that last clip. But regardless of what mushroom biome you head to, one thing which holds clear across all of them is that because there are no mobs, apart from the mob spawners and the mo mushrooms that spawn here, that means that you get some completely, completely empty caves. No mobs in here, nothing, which means caving inside these, these biomes are something which is very, very handy to have, very reliable, which might make you want to head down to these coordinates because right down here, you probably saw them, there's a vein of diamonds. Um, you might not want to dig exactly where I dug down, but yeah, I didn't exactly check and see how many diamonds there are, but it looks to be about five. Yeah, an, an ore of five diamonds. Pretty easy to have, pretty nice to have, and yeah, you could probably use this water to fall into, and yeah. And those were the five mushroom islands that I found inside this one seed. What do you think of this seed? Do you like all these mushroom biomes? Which one is your favorite? Which things do you like which is next to or on the islands? Whatever you think, let me know down below in the comments. But for now, that's pretty much all I have for you. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.